Okay, while you have the head off your Ford Model A engine, you can check that your uh, top dead center with this pin here is uh, correctly set up. Now, ideally it should already, um, if top dead center wasn't aligned with the timing gear, uh, you'd have a lot of problems, but uh, just to show you how that works. So, top dead center from cylinder number one is when the piston is at the top of the cylinder on the compression stroke. So, there are two times it comes to the top. Uh, for compression when it's about to explode, ignite, and then one more for pushing the burnt exhaust fumes out the exhaust valve. So this is the exhaust valve, this is the intake valve. So if you watch it as it comes up, um, it is on exhaust. So the exhaust valve is going up, the piston's coming up to push the exhaust fumes out. So that's top dead center for uh, the exhaust stroke, but you want to measure your timing on the compression stroke. So it goes through one more series. Do you see the intake valve opening as the piston goes down? What that would do is let the mixed gas fumes come in. So it's sucking in for the next cycle. And then the intake valve closes because it's about to come up. And right there, it's coming up, coming up, and then the spark plug would ignite right there, ideally, and you get your combustion and push, uh, it would push the piston down again, and you start over. So on the Model A, the way you check timing is, this is your uh, pin here, and it's got a, uh, it's narrow at the top, and I'd recommend putting some oil on here. Do I have oil or WD-40? Where is, oh, sorry. I was not as prepared as I thought I was. Anyway, a little lubrication to help there. And what you do is you, uh, you take this pin and you put it in, you unscrew it and you put it back in here. And there's a, on the timing gear, under this plate, there's a timing gear that meshes with your cam. And there's an indentation, a small indentation where it should push, it should time up when you're top dead center on the compression stroke. So the way you do this is one hand, you're turning the crank. You can't see the crank, but the crank is down here. And the other hand, you're holding this pin in. So I want to try not to get in the way, but so let's go through one cycle. So I'm holding it in. You don't have to press really hard, just, you know, just slight pressure. So this is the compression stroke. So that timing, the pin won't go in there yet. Now I'm coming on. I'm coming on the top dead center for the compression stroke. So right about what you'll do is turn slow, coming up, and with this other hand, hold the pin in here uh, just a little bit, not too tight, but just tight enough to push against the timing gear. And I'll be quiet. Hopefully you can hear it and also see it go in. Right there, I felt it. And so, that's pretty much, I mean, you know, maybe a few thousandths of it. It's, uh, that's pretty much a top dead center. It's, uh, maybe it could have come a slightly higher, but that's, that's good enough. So, what that means is, um, when you're doing your regular timing and you got everything all back together, when this pin goes in there, at least on this engine, I'm pretty confident that that piston's at top dead center on the compression stroke. Uh, and then you can set your timing. Okay, we are done with that.